Okay, now what we're going to do, now we've got just a variety of simple shapes. So you should have a sheet that looks something like mine. Don't try and fit too many shapes on the sheet. Leave some space, otherwise it's going to look too crowded. Just the main thing to remember is that oblique projection is all about those 45 degree diagonal lines. Okay, use the guidelines you drew at the beginning of the task to help you. Remember lines are parallel. Don't draw the lines going in any other, other direction. Most of the lines we draw are vertical, horizontal or at 45 degrees. Okay, what we're going to do next on is on some of the shapes, you don't have to do this to all of them, but on some of the shapes we're going to start to add and take away parts and maybe put other shapes in behind them, in front of them, on top of them, and we're just going to see what happens. Okay, just to start with this one, um, we're going to turn this into like a kind of a sofa. So what I'm going to do is just going to draw two vertical lines either end. I'm just going to draw this kind of this turn the block into this kind of U shape. And where the lines meet the top here, just going to draw some 45 degree lines out there. Now to make this look realistic, obviously there's a hole there now in the top of the block. What I'm going to do is just draw a line down from there and then 45 degrees across there and then just to finish it off here okay so kind of made it look like a kind of a, I don't know like a seat or like a U shape um, we can do the same again to practice that this time I'll draw that shape on the front this time when I project the lines 45 degrees I'm only going to go halfway into the block and then we just need to complete it by doing that. It looks kind of look like a like a sofa or something, you know, like a seat as well. Um, just remember, all the lines that you draw are parallel. Okay, so this line here, parallel with this one, it's parallel with this one, it's parallel with this one, and this one. They're all the horizontal lines. All the vertical lines, they're parallel to each other, so they all run in the same direction. And all the 45 degree lines, they run in the same direction also. Okay, uh, we can also take parts away from a block. So if I draw a line across there like this, draw the 45 degree line out, same here, and then join those two lines up, we kind of take the end off a block, we kind of chop or slice through it. Uh, we can do that with the, uh, the prism, the triangle prism here. If I draw two parallel lines to the side of here, and then a parallel line here and then just draw a, a straight line, a horizontal line there I kind of get this kind of doorway kind of going in or gap going into the shape with the cylinders obviously if you were to draw just find the centre there and just draw myself a crate or a rectangle, or a square sorry and obviously you can create tubes just by drawing a circle in the middle of that um, you can also put shapes onto the front of other shapes. So we can also, like with this block here, if I draw a rectangle, and instead of projecting the lines backwards, I'm going to project the lines forwards out out of the shape in this direction, and then draw another rectangle. Then it kind of looks as like this block is actually sticking out of this block here. Uh, we can do that uh, for shapes behind shapes as well. Um, so, for instance, this shape here, we draw a line out, and then we draw a, a kind of a rectangle sticking out the back there. And then, if I just project those lines back and draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, I kind of get the impression that this shape is kind of hiding behind this other shape. We can also make uh, boxes, so just by drawing parallel lines to the top of this box, top of this, this block rather, then we can create a hole, but the hole won't be complete until we draw in this corner here, because that makes it look like you can actually see inside, inside there. 
um, we can also do some some holes if you like um, just by drawing a small crate again and then an ellipse inside so I'll do that again small crate 45 degree lines from the left and right we can kind of create holes we can then obviously create some objects we can round these corners off we can also round this corner off now when I round this corner off this corner is okay as it is like that but this corner I actually have to show the same thing on the back of the shape as well so I'm just going to follow or copy that contour that line there and then if you want to we could a small crate draw a circle in there project that circle out if we draw another crate can join those lines up we get kind of kind of like a like a little camera so something that's something a bit more more complex so really just have a go at some of these these shapes if you like or you can make your own up that's fine as well uh, that's no problem um, you can make them as simple you can make them as difficult uh, as you like